Love is patient and kind. Yes, it is. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable and it keeps no record when it has been wronged. Amen. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. Amen. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Love will last forever. Amen. If I could leave a thought with you on today, it would be, where is the love? Come on, ask somebody, where is the love? Where is the and love? I'm going to tie in love can build a bridge, but where is the love? Hallelujah. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. You know, I preached this word about two or three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And, and I, like I said, I've been working so on the, on the series. Amen. But when God says ship, he has his reasons for why he do what he do and say what he say. Amen. So ask somebody again, where is the love? Where is the love? Amen. You know, I looked up, um, I looked up the word, the word love in the in one of my Bible dictionaries, and it says that love is the ultimate expression of God's loyalty, Amen. of God's purity and mercy extended to us. It is an expression of human relationships that is expressed to one another. So after hearing that definition, I'll ask again: Where is the love? Where is the love? Amen. Come on, I don't know about you all. Where is the love? I'm like, God, why are you taking me here? Listen, there has been so many things going on in the country, amen, in this world today, amen. But God said we ought to love as he loves us. Come amen. on, somebody. Amen. I'm going somewhere, I promise you. He said we ought to love as he loves us. So when we look at him loving us, Think about where is the love on today. Come on, we see fighting going on. We see mishaps going on. We see situations going on. But God still mandates that we show love. Come Amen. on, somebody. Amen. Come on, I'm going to work it out and look at this. Jesus, uh, Jesus' love for us was so strong that he laid down his life for us. Thank His you. love became a bridge between us and God. Good God Almighty. Amen. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Come on, somebody. He That's gave right. His only begotten Son. I say it again. He gave His only begotten Son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Y'all hear that? Thank for you and I. He bled and died on the cross for you and I. That's There's right. no greater love than that that I know of than somebody that will lay down a life for a friend. Why am I going there today? Listen, when we get to a place uh -huh, that we can say we want to love like Christ's love, when we get to a place to say we will walk in a God pay love like he walks in a God pay love, come on, when we get to a place to say I'm going to love you despite of what you do to me, when we get to a place to say I'm going to love you whether you scandalize my name, y'all bear with me, when we get to a place and we say we love you, we really love you with the love of the Lord that despite of how you make me feel. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to still build you up in love. Yes. Y'all hear what I just said? I'm like, God, what are you saying? Listen, he, I, I haven't seen too many people laying down their life, first of all, for a friend like that. Y'all know anybody that would die for you. I don't know nobody that would die for me. Come on, somebody. I say I'll stand for my kids. But will I take a bullet? Come on, think about it. Amen. Do you know anybody that will die for you? I haven't God. seen too many people being patient or kind in this hour. Come on, all I keep seeing is a whole lot of fighting and a whole lot of hurt going on. Mm. I'm like, yes. God, why are you taking me there? And this hurts my heart because guess what? Jesus didn't go through the ridicule. He didn't go through the pain for nothing. Come on, he didn't go and hang on the cross for nothing. Amen. He didn't shed his blood for nothing. Amen. Come on, he didn't give his life for nothing. That's so right. where's the love? Where's the throwback coming from? What's going on if we say we're the saints and not the ain'ts? Where is the love? Amen. Come on, he didn't go through all of that that we can continue to be angry with one another. He didn't go through all of that so that we can continue to hate each other. He didn't go through all that for us to continue to be separated from each other. Come on, no, no, no. When he died on the cross and he loved us so much, he did it to bring light into a dark place. He loved us so much that he said, I'm going to bring healing to a dying nation. 
situation. He loved us so much that he said, I'm going to die to bring hope in trying times. Come on, he loved us right. so much. He Thank said, I'm going to bring peace in the midst of the storm that's going on right here in this land. Thank you, Lord. Y'all all, all you. right? Thank you. I Thank said, you. good God Almighty. Listen, when we think about the love that Christ died for us with, it helps me to understand. He was saying, look, if I down the cross, come on, I can, I can build a bridge. That's right. Come on, I can build a bridge. We, know, we all know a bridge is supposed to be that thing that connects us. That's right. Come on, y'all, I'm going somewhere, I promise you. Come on, we know a bridge is supposed to be that thing that joins two sides together. Amen. Come on, a bridge is supposed to be that thing that's designed to help us look past and cross over to the other side. Amen. Come on, but it's a sad thing that the bridge that was designed called Jesus Christ that was supposed to connect us and join us together is that same bridge that seemed to be collapsing in the world today. Amen. So God said, where is the love? In order to rebuild the bridge that he died so lovingly for. Thank Come you. on. Thank you. That he died for. Even in our country, he died that we might have life and have it more abundantly. In order to rebuild the bridge, we ourselves got to be prepared to do some things. Amen. But I'm all right. It's love day. They say Valentine, but it's a pagan thing. Come Amen. on, somebody. There you go. So listen, Jesus' love is supposed to be the bridge, as I said. It's supposed to be a way of joining the two sides together. But it's a sad thing that the same bridge that was designed to connect us has faltered. Thank you, Lord. Touch it. So we have to understand that in order to rebuild the bridge, in order to join together, in order to be one in Christ, people of God, we have got to let go our own personal prejudices, yes. our yes. own yes. personal yes. hatreds, yes. Mm, yes, even our own personal desires. Touch it. Come on, somebody. Come on and learn how to be totally committed to loving God any kind of way, all kind of ways. Amen. Amen. And when we love God unconditionally, then we can love others unconditionally. Y'all all right. It. Come on, come on, somebody. I wanted to preach something else, but after I saw the stuff that's been going on, I'm going to bring it all into the Word, I promise you. The Lord said, no, I need you to talk about my love because it seems that my love has grown cold. Good God Almighty. Listen, listen. Matthew 22. 37 through 40, he says, Jesus said that we should love the Lord thy God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. And that we should love our neighbors. Come on, look at your neighbor. We should love our neighbor. Love one another as, as we love ourselves. That's the greatest commandment. Come on, I know you love yourself. So if we love ourselves, we need to love our neighbor in the same way. Amen. So we got to understand that love truly can build a bridge. But what are you willing to do about it? Come on, you got to understand that love isn't about us. That's right. It's all about God. Thank you, Lord. And I don't believe his heart right now. Glory, hallelujah. I, I don't think, I believe in my heart that his heart is grieving. Yes. Lord. But what he's seeing in the country right now, in the world right now. Touch it. Come on, I didn't come to tell nobody down this love day. Love is supposed to be a happy day, but I'm telling you right now, when we love with the love of the Lord, come on, somebody, it'll be joy, unspeakable joy all the time, too. Yes. We're speaking of God's love, his concern, his heart on today. Come on, I'm glad that love day fell on a Sunday. Amen. Come on, so we got to stop missing it, people of God. Listen, we got to understand that in order to be able to be, be, rebuild the bridge, in order for us to join together and become one, we as Christians have to first be first partakers. Right. Come on, and get rid of our own prejudices Amen. against their different denominations. Come on, somebody. Amen. We got to get rid of our own hatred for one another in the house and the body of Christ. Thank Come you. on, somebody. We Thank as the you. saints got to be first partakers. Thank you, Lord. Listen. Good God, man, I said, Lord, what you doing? Listen, listen, listen. The Bible says in 1 Peter 4 and 8, and y'all catch it after this scripture. It says, love covers a multitude of sin. But I say today, in order to win, you got to get rid of a whole lot of sin. 
Come on, somebody covered, but we gotta get rid of. So why did I say that? That sin of deception, that sin of selfishness, that sin of prejudices. Come on, that sin that looks at black and white and not as Christ is. Come on. He said, in order to win, we gotta get rid of the sin. Amen. And God began to say to me, daughter, I'm not pleased. Listen, he said, my commandment I left with you is to love one another. So if that's the case, why does it look like politicians are hating on each other? I'm going somewhere. I gotta give it to you like he gave it to me. Why is it that there, that there's been riots that's been inciting? Listen, from 2020, where we look back at 2020, first we got hit with the pandemic. People, instead of loving each other, trying to bring us together, everybody was trying to cast blame. Good God Almighty. Come on, not realizing that God does step back and allow some stuff because he's trying to help us to understand that we're, oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we had the pandemic to hit us. Blame is still going around. We had fighting going around. We had murders happening. Come on, somebody. Come on, cops killing people. People killing people. Nobody got a sense of anything. Come on, if they really had love, we'd be careful what we say to folks. If we really had love, we'd be quick not to put our knees on somebody's back. And I'm not talking naturally. If we really had love, we'd be quicker to pray for one another and not to put each other down. Amen. Good God, man. Y'all all right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on. Then we find ourselves hitting 2021. And the Lord said, politicians are hating on each other. Listen, the one who, who we thought, I'm going to go there. I might get some grief for it later, clap backs later. But I got to give it to you. God gave me this at 6 a.m. I'm going to give it to you. God said, this is where it is. We have somebody called the ex-president who was supposed to be the one to keep us together. I'm just saying, y'all, but not just him. The politicians that we put in place, come on, somebody, they're supposed to be the ones to cover us. They're supposed to be the ones to make sound decisions. They're supposed to, and I'm talking black and white, they're supposed to love the world so much, love this country so much that they took an oath not to harm us. Come on, somebody. But yet it seems as though there's still so much hurt and pain in the world. Yes, yes, Lord. Y'all all right? Lord, hallelujah. To a point that when the riot was incited, I know where I am. Thank Come you. on, somebody. Do what you need to do. Come on. But yet nobody is trying to build the bridge. They just made a decision. And all I kept hearing in my spirit, man, is what we're going to do to get back at this group or that group. Come on, somebody. When all I keep hearing the Lord say is love can build a bridge. All I keep hearing the Lord say, where is the love? Decisions have been made. How about we just go forth? Come on. I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Y'all all right? Amen. God said there's been too much hating. Turned the TV on the other day. All I kept seeing was murder after murder after murder. God said, that's not my love. Because if you really love me, you wouldn't take another life. Amen. I'm going to sweeten it up. I promise you. Y'all all right? They Amen. don't know what we come in here today for. God said, there's not enough loving going around in the land. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come on, God said the bridge is supposed to help fix the problems. Come on, the bridge is supposed to help join us together. The bridge is supposed to help us to look past our exterior. Come Amen. on, the bridge is supposed to help us to see Christ whenever we see anyone of different race. It should not matter. Amen. He said, where is the love? Thank oh, God. Talking about be my valentine, but then on the other side of your tongue, there's a tear down. No, love is supposed to build a bridge. Amen. I understand that. How you gonna tell me to be your valentine? I love you. And within a second, you're talking out the other side of your mouth, cursing me and pushing me down. That's not God's love. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God says. We have to choose to live in a world with a standard called love. God said it's time out for being tolerant of what's going on and begin to love and make a change. Someone yes. asked me when I put something on Facebook this morning, why did you put that? Because I meant what I heard the Holy Ghost say. Come on, love means you're going to be the hand to help somebody. Love means you're going to be the eye to see the pain and make a, and make a difference. Come on, love means you're going to be the feet and you're going to walk towards somebody and help them. Come on, love! Thank you, Lord. We gotta become the world love. 
Yes, yes. Tell me, why didn't you just put a heart? That is God's heart at 6 o'clock this morning. Amen, amen. Listen, God hates prejudice. He hates separation. Yes, yes. He hates indifference. Yes. Come on, and because he hates it, we got to begin to rebuild that, that connect called love. Come on, somebody. That's right. One of the first bridges we need to start with is that unconditional love, that ex love that call acceptance amen. of one another. Sister, I love you for you. Baby, I love you for you. Young man, no, it's your first time here, but I love you for coming on in here today. Amen. I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I do, because you're a man of God. The minute he, you are men and women of God in this house, amen. Come on, I love all of you that are watching with the love of the Lord. Amen. Not about indifferences. Some people built barriers and burned bridges long ago, but Jesus died for the opposite. Amen. Come on, somebody, he died. Come on, he broke barriers when he died. That barrier, that barrier of ignorance, that barrier of separation, that barrier of prejudice. Come on, he died. Thank you. Y'all all right? I know he'll answer. We heard this before, Pastor. Yes, you have, but Lord, let me preach it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Listen. I believe in my heart that's why God is grieving. I believe in my heart that's why he stepped back and allowed some stuff. Come on, somebody. Because he's saying, you know what? I want you to understand that it's not about you. It's not about me. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Lord. Listen. So Thank it you. bothers me when I hear some blacks say, I did say, the white man took this and that from me, and, I, and the white man is trying to tear me down, and it bothers me when I hear the white say, why don't the blacks go back to Africa, to monkey land? Come on, it bothers me when I hear Touch that people on. say the Mexicans are taking over. It bothers me when Jesus done been crucified on the cross. Come on, somebody on their border that really matters. Come on, it bothers me. Amen. He said, love is supposed to be on the bridge. Where's the love? Where's the love? Where's the love? Amen. Love is supposed Amen. to not just be a smile on our face, but be a smile in our hearts. Amen. Where's the love? It bothers me when I hear people say, the, uh, the Arabics are trying to sneak in. This isn't even their land. Why, don't, why, do they, why do we let them run everything? Come on, it bothers me when I see separations of religions. Like I said, it bothers me. I can't go there because there's no black people there. I can't go there because there's no white people there. We are the church of God. Amen. And if we are the church of God, it doesn't have no color. Come on, where is the love? Thank you. We the people, the saints of God is the church of God. That's right. And if we can't show love outside of putting on red once a year, where's the love? Oh, my God. Y'all all right. Baby, I know this y'all first time. Y'all okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I knew I was on the wrong mic. Listen. Hallelujah. Y'all give me 10 minutes. I'll be done, I pray. Listen, it bothers me when so-called Christians who turn their head just to keep from speaking to somebody that's different, it bothers me. Amen. Come on, Amen. somebody. We should not see a difference when we look at people. That's we should right. see the that's love of right. God in them. Right. No matter how mean or hateful they are, we still should see them as God creation. Show the love. These are just the indifferences and prejudice acts that have bothered me Amen. and has bothered God. But guess what? He said today is going to be a day of new reckoning. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hey. Listen, my phone kept ringing. Oh, did you see the report? Did you see what they decided? I'm so mad. I always thought of writing myself. I said, what you say? Come on, you a pastor. Where's your love? Amen. You Amen. a pastor. Why are you not praying? Come on, you a pastor. There you go. If you're not showing love, what are your people going to show? Amen. Good God Almighty. Touch it, Lord. Listen, all these things are some of the things that, that are causing our bridges of love to be shaky. Yes. Now, you notice God says shaky. He didn't say the bridge was destroyed. He said shaky. Amen. Good God of mine, that lets me know we still got time to get it together. Yes. Come on, that lets me know for after this word, we still got time to walk up to somebody and say good morning. Thank I ain't you. never seen so many hateful folks in the store that I haven't seen Thank lately. You. I'm saying good morning, how are you? you? No speaking, no nothing, bump into you, knock you down. But God bless you, baby. Thank you, Lord. Because I'm going to still show the love of Christ. Amen. That's right. Listen, we are Christian sisters and brothers in Christ, and we have got to learn how to accept and love each other and Amen. stop holding on to things from the past and start forgiving. 
Yes, Lord. Governor, y'all know what? We ain't perfect. Life's not perfect. Amen. Come on, somebody. Life is not a bowl of cherries. Amen. Come on, we know there's going to always be injustice. Right. We know there's going to always be some hatred. We know that there's going to always be some pain and some shame. Amen. However, we as men and women of God, we should always be the light in the dark place of all of that. Y'all hear me? So God said, we got to start forgiving. Come on. It could take a long time or it can take a minute. God said, it's going to be up to us what we decide to do. Amen. But I guarantee you, he's not going to let up on some of the things he's allowing until we understand his love. Amen. I got to move on. Listen, it could take a lifetime to talk about all the scars and injustice we have all experienced in our life. Come on, somebody. But instead, somebody just said, oh, she should have did this on, um, on, uh, um, Martin Luther King. What do you call it? Black History Month. No, because this ain't a black sermon. This is a, this is a God sermon. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Listen, it's painful to say this, but we all have got to get in a place of harmony and not all this disharmony. Yes, There's right. a song that we used to sing when I was a little girl. Listen, y'all, uh, where it talks about, um, um, they will know that we are Christians by our love. Y'all remember, how many of y'all are over 60? Okay. Well, okay, you know, you remember the song. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. We used to sing it every time we went to summer Bible study, school, whatever that was. No, because if the, if the saints not showing the love, they can't see nothing else. Y'all all right. Amen. Listen, we got to be a witness for God's love in this hour. We got to shatter that thing called hatred. Come on, God's love has not waxed cold. Only the people have waxed cold. Come on, there's not a lack of love. People just don't know how to show the love. Come on, love starts with forgiveness. Amen. Love starts with embracing. Love starts with you taking a hammer and printing a nail on that bridge Amen. to connect it back together. Come on, that's true love. Love says, I'm going to extend a helping hand to you. I'm going to embrace you, even though we can't bring embrace right now. But I'm embracing you with the love of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Come on, love still can build a bridge. Where is the love? Amen. God said, it's time out for the bitterness and the separation. It's time out for the put downs. Come on, we've got to continue to love and begin to love. Come on, people of God. It's going to heal when we begin to love. Come on, we must be part of the solution and not the problem. Amen. Come on, he said love is a solution thing. It's not a problem. Amen. Come on, if you walk in love, you shouldn't help the problem out. Come on, people of God. Amen. Ooh. Amos 9 and 11, 9 verse 11 and 12. The Bible calls it the rebuilding of ancient ruins. Look, God didn't say we, 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 we would move on to a new place. He said we can go back and rebuild what was in despair. Hmm. Come on, somebody, what the enemy calls separation in, what the enemy tries to make crumble. Come on, somebody, God said his love can go in and rebuild. Come on, That's the right. building, rebuild That's the ruins of that distrust, that, that prejudice. Come on, somebody, Amen. come on, we can go back and rebuild the ruins, people of God. Amen. Don't allow what's going on in the country to cause us to be part of the demise. Amen. So we've got to take responsibility for what we ourselves have helped to cause. Mm, somebody didn't like that. <laughs> All of us came from prejudice in some way or another. Some way. Come on, somebody. It came from disrespect or another. Come on, di being disregarded for one way or another. We all Amen, know. amen. Come on, but the only reason it happened is because folks really didn't know how to love. Amen. They didn't understand that we were all one in Thank Christ. You. Amen. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the spirit. They know us by our love. Listen, but God is rebuilding the bridge over the troubled waters. Amen? Amen. I know we're not the same on the outside, but we are one in the spirit. Amen. Come on, we all were made by the same clay. Yeah. <laughs> and he's waiting on us to think like he thinks. Come on, somebody, we've got to stop focusing on what hurt and separate us. And start focusing and focusing on his love that will bring us together. I'm almost done, y'all. I thought it was gonna be a short word today. Come on, so we gotta first start with the healing process. Start saying, I'm sorry this has happened. I'm sorry you've been hurt. I'm sorry you were judged. I'm sorry you were looked that funny. I'm sorry you went through that. I'm gonna be the one to apologize 
but somebody else's ignorance. Come on, somebody, that's when you're showing the love of Christ. Y'all all right? There's a song that I used to hear a long time ago when I was in the world, How Deep Is Your Love? Come on, how deep is your love? I forget it was about to be Jesus or somebody. How deep is your love? Come on, I really want to know. Come on, how deep is the love that's on the inside of you? Come on, how deep is Christ's love that you're willing to step outside of your bars, good God Almighty, and say, brother, I love you. Sister, I love you with the love of the Lord. Oh, God. Hmm. Listen. God is saying, if my people would stop laying blame, if my people would stop justifying, if my people would stop holding on to the past, if my people will learn to love right and talk right, why did I go there? I got a text recently and it hurt my heart. He said he loved me, but he left me. And the first thing I said, but God loves you and he's still by your side. Amen. You don't get Amen. what I'm saying. Amen. What I'm saying is we can stop holding on to what happened to us yesterday and just realize that he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Jesus loved me. This I know. Amen. But the Bible tells me so. Little one, hear me love. They are weak, but he is strong. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. Yes, Jesus loved me. Why did I go there? He loves us so much, despite of how anybody else treat us. That's right. He loves me. Thank oh, how he loves me. Listen, we've got to begin to understand that valuing each other is the heart of love. That's right. Agreeing with each other is the heart of love. Lifting each other up is the heart of love. Esteeming each other higher than ourselves Thank is you. the heart of love. Come on, somebody. Thank you. Do you have that kind of love? Amen. Lord, and we must attach a high worth of others regardless of how we're being treated. Yes, Lord. That's why the Bible says love is patient. I'm bringing it in. Love is kind. And when we take character of Christ into consideration, Have we been patient and kind? Come on, have we been patient and kind with one another? Or have we just pushed aside? Look, he will give us the grace to love others as he loves us. Yes, yes. And if we let him, he'll grow us up in his love even the more. Come on, somebody. We're going to sing a song when this is over called Love Can Build a Bridge. But a lot of times the bridge starts right here in our hearts. Amen. Come on, what are you connecting to on today? I told you I won't be before you long today. God says, where is the love? Where is the love? He said, I see what you see. I'm telling y'all, I try not to bring too much news in, but when they showed the other day, they found a young lady and somebody had stuffed her in the trash. My heart cried. I just wept and wept and wept. And I said, God, what kind of person that you made could do something like that? And it caused me to think back over all the other things I've seen the past two years. And I kept hearing the Lord say, but I still made them. Amen. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He said, I still made them. He said, I created them. But they have their own will and their own way. Lord, I created you, them. Thank you, Lord. But they chose to do what they did. Yes, Lord. So I began to weep for that young lady's family. Do y'all hear me? I began to weep for her family. And I started weeping for everybody that felt like they had situations, injustice, and everything else that has gone on these last two years. I said, God, I love them with the love of the Lord. And I'm going to pray for your healing upon them. Yes. That's what love does. Now hear me, that's what love does. He said, we can't not see the troubles. But real love, agape love, will cause you to look at others in a whole new light. Then you will see man as God sees man. And not as you see man. Real love that's right. will cause you to love unconditionally. Amen. By accepting people just the way that they are. Man. Come on, real love will cause you to love sacrificially by serving one another and giving of yourself with a pure and kind heart. That's real love. Yes, Lord. The songwriter said that we're going to sing in a minute, 
the, the sermon writer said, I gladly walk across the desert with no shoes on my feet to share with you the last bite of bread I have to eat. That's real love. Come on, somebody, I've given my last and all I drunk was water. Real love produces actions and it will cause you to give all of yourself. Come on, somebody, if it will help somebody else. Real love Amen. Amen. is going that extra mile. Real love will cause you to love mercifully. Always remembering that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Come on, somebody, that's real love. When you realize that's real love, you won't look at anybody else and judge because God has forgiven you too. Amen. Come on, somebody, real love. God Almighty, real love is you and me giving a few hours of our time to come together today to Thank fellowship you. together to serve God as one together. Now that's real love. Amen. Real love can build a bridge. But it's going to take you and me to connect together to make it happen. I'm going to close with this. And we're going home early. I told you all a couple of years ago, I saw this movie called Pollyanna. And in Pollyanna, uh, I want that to stay on the CD, baby, but you're good. In Pollyanna, the blacks were on one side and the whites was on the other side of town. Y'all hear what I'm saying? They could not cross the bridge to go over to the good side of town. Y'all better hear what I'm about to say. And it took, and I'm going to put two stories together. That was Pollyanna. And then the one, I can't remember the title of it, where they had the blacks on one side of the wall and the whites on the other. And the blacks did not realize what was on the other side of the wall that was great. Brewster Place. Somebody had to get hurt in both of those movies before they realized they had to come together. In Pollyanna, it took this little girl sneaking out one night, trying to go help this little lady. Amen? When black children weren't supposed to go into the house with this lady, but she said, I'm coming to help you. Listen what happened. The little girl broke her leg trying to go out the next time. Everybody came together because they realized how much love she had to show to everybody in the town, despite of their color. Y'all hear what I just said? And they all came together in, on one bridge. Y'all better hear this good. They came together on one bridge, but they didn't just stop one on this side and one on that side. They began to cross over the line, and they began to hug each other. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all better hear me good. They crossed over the divided line to say, you know what? We should not allow someone to hurt or die before we realize all we got to do is show God's love. We shouldn't wait for somebody to go through harm and danger before we decide to show God's love. Come on, we shouldn't wait to have to knock down a wall in order to show God's love. We got to show God's love unconditionally to spare. That's right. So let's not wait for something hard to happen again. Let's not wait for another riot in this country alone. Let's not wait for another bombing in this country alone. Let's not wait for another murder in this country alone before we decide to stand up and show God's love. That's right. Let's not wait for something else harmful to happen. Thank you, Lord. Before we say we got to make a change. Thank you, Lord. Y'all understand what I just said? Glory. I know some of y'all are probably saying this word right here might not be for the day, but it was. Amen. God said, what are you doing? I need you to get to a place to understand that my love is sure. That's right. My love is patient and kind, and kind whether yours is or not. Amen. My love is not jealous or boastful, proud or rude. He said, my love does not demand, demand its own way. If you're walking in my love, it won't be irritable. It won't keep a record of every time you've been wrong. Amen. Come on, somebody. Thank he you. said, when you're walking in my love, you'll never be glad about the injustice. or You will rejoice when the truth wins out. Amen. Come on, when you're walking in my love, you'll never give up on Thank trying you. to connect. 
Come on, when you're walking in my love, you'll never lose faith. No heart, I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah. When you're walking in my love, you'll always be hopeful yeah. that God is able to change That's right. situations. When you're walking in my love, you will be able to endure every circumstance. Every circumstance. And lastly, if you're really walking in his love, his agape love, you will know that it will last forever. Amen. Come on, I hope, I pray this word will stay in your mind so today. Amen. That you will realize something. God is saying, I want you to walk in my love. Where is my love? Amen. My love can build a bridge. How many bridges have you torn down instead of building up? Come on, somebody. Come on, rest on your feet for me. I know where I am. I'm gonna play this song and then we're gonna have a we're gonna have a prayer. Hallelujah. Think about it. With no shoes upon my feet to share with you the last bite of bread I had to eat. Thank you, Jesus. I was to save you Lord, in your that. sea of broken dreams. Yes, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Today, 
Thank you. Accept him into your life. Just tell him to come into your life. If anybody is here and they've never accepted Christ, this is your day. Yes. To know that he loves you so much. Yes. Because I never, ever, ever assume everybody that's in the house of God is saved. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you've accepted Christ on Facebook, inbox us. Let us know you let us know you accepted Christ. So we can get a Bible to you and information on salvation. You may have your seats in the house for a moment. Hallelujah. We just bless God. Amen. For you being here with us. You gotta stop it. <laughs> 